I'm going to be showing you in this video how you can paint orcs from the Death Schools clan. Orcs in the Warhammer 40,000 universe gather together in massive tribes. And within those tribes, like-minded orcs form the clans. An orc will choose a clan that best represents its favourite way of raging war. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I paint the Death Schools. So I got to work and fully immerse myself in the background and lore to make sure I was ready. I'm ready. I really like how this Death Skulls Boom Dacker Snaz Wagon is painted, and I wanted to see if I could paint my Death Skulls Orc in a similar way. These are the paints I'm going to be using in this tutorial. The overall colour scheme is pretty bright, so I chose to start with a grey sear spray undercoat first, allowing me to paint those whites and blues easily. I like to start off with the Shabti Bone for the teeth knowing it's going to be easier now when I can be a lot messier. And while you're using your shabdy bone, you may as well paint any bandages and wraps you may see. Just remember, whenever you're painting, it's better to thin your paints, and I find an equal amount of water does the trick. Keep your brush moving and try not to go over areas you've already painted. It's also better to paint in multiple thin layers, so let the paint dry and then paint another layer. This is going to give you a nicer finish. I always find the best place to start with orcs is to paint all the materials first. I like to paint the top and trousers and then work my way outwards through the layers of clothing, again just to make it easier. You can use any colours for the materials that you feel work best and you could even mix it up between the orcs if you wanted to. When I finished painting all the materials, I painted everything I wanted to be metal using iron hand steel. At the same time I picked out any bullets with retributor armour. The orc is now ready for a wash of Agrax Earthshade. This is going to add some definition, but it's also going to help make the orc look dirty and weathered. I don't want the Agrax Earthshade to do all the colours of the orc though, so I'm mixing the wash with an equal amount of Lamy Medium. This is going to weaken the strength of the wash and let those colours still come through. It's going to get messy, so you might want to put down some kitchen paper first. I'm not using a lot, just enough to cover the miniature comfortably. If you use too much, there's more chance of it pulling up in the areas you don't want it to. If you do see it pull up in areas, you can just use your brush to soak up the excess wash you don't want, and then let it dry completely before you move on to the next step. It's a good time to paint the skin of the orc now, because it's not going to give you a massive problem if you make any mistakes that need to be cleaned up. I'm going to be using the orc skin mix I made in another video. And remembering to paint multiple layers, I'll paint all the skin in this colour. I then give the skin a wash using an equal amount of Ethonian camo shade and Lamy medium mixed together for a soft shade. Let that shade dry and then pick out any of the deeper recesses of the skin with Ethonian camo shade just as it is and then tidy up any areas using the orc skin mix. And once that's done, you can move on to the next step. Whenever you're highlighting something, you don't want to have a lot of paint on your brush, and you want to keep it quite thin to give you more control. Essentially, all you're doing is emphasizing all the edges and raised areas, bringing out all those details on your model. So using the lighter shade of all the colours you already have, take your time and go around the miniature picking out all those raised areas and edges. Highlighting isn't the most exciting part of painting, but it really does make a difference. It wouldn't be a Death Schools Orc without all those vibrant colours, so I'm now going to go through how I paint them, but it's up to you where they go. Have some fun with it. I start by picking out some panels and armour using McCrag Blue. I paint a chunky highlight with Calador Sky and finish with an edge highlight of Femrisian Grey. Next I like to contrast the blue by picking out some of the other panels and bits of armour using Corax White. Highlight this with White Scar. Then using some thin down Bane Blade Brown I picked out any recesses and rivets. 
I then used the same thinned down Bane Blade Brown to paint little scratches and chips on the edges using a dabbing motion with the tip of my brush. To make the metals more interesting I break up the silver by painting some parts using Liberator Gold. Give the Liberator Gold a wash of Reichland Flesh Shade. Let that dry and using Reichland Flesh Shade again I concentrate more around any raised areas. Then I use some Stormhouse Silver to highlight both the gold and silver areas of the miniature at the same time. It wouldn't be an orc without a checkered pattern. So I pick out an area with Emerizian Grey, always remembering multiple coats is better. Using some Macrag Blue I then painted a grid marking out the checkered pattern. And when I was happy with that I then filled in every other square. To make sure everything looked neat and tidy I went in with Emerizian Grey first and then Macrag Blue. I then watered down some Macrag Blue and washed over the area to make it look a little more interesting. I finished off by highlighting the edges with Emerizian Grey, leaving the actual squares as they are. With all those details painted, you could say our Dusk Orc Orc is finished. But I want to show you how you can take your Orcs to the next level and make them really stand out. Using some Lamy Medium, I thinned down some Cadian Flesh Tone to make a glaze and built this up on the lower lip and the tips of the ears. I then used some Lamy Medium again to thin down some Macrag Blue and this was used for some blue war paint you see so many Death School Orcs wear. Highlight with some Screaming Skull and then Femrisian Grey. I think the war paint is actually looking a bit too dark. So I'm going to try layering back up with Calador Sky. That seems a bit better. If I were to do this again, I would swap out the Macrag Blue with Calador Sky for the war paint. And finally, I really like to go around all the metals and panels using Thin Down Scrag Brown, painting this into all the recesses and around any rivets and other details. Don't do this to any of the white panels or decorative gold though. The orc is now finished and I really hope you can go away and paint some Death School Orcs of your own using some of the things I've shown you in this video. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos on painting other orky things. Thank you very much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like the video, it will show YouTube you enjoyed it and it will be shared out to more people. I'm very grateful for all the support and comments everyone gives. Make sure you subscribe for future videos because I love making them and I'll see you in the next video.